Hey folks here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Xiaomi Mi Jia Smart Home Aquara Security Kit. This is a home security kit that sells for 50 bucks. If you already have a lot of Xiaomi's other smart home products, like their security cams that we reviewed about two weeks ago, then this is part of the same collection and it uses the same kind of Xiaomi smart home app on Android or iOS. So you can simply add devices to the same app without having to install something new and just add more and more products as you purchase them. So it seems like what's interesting about the packaging here is it doesn't have a super large box that contains everything. It seems like something that Gearbest you know, put together themselves in a, in a way, but these products are meant to work with each other. And it includes this gateway remote control. So this is Wi-Fi enabled, because again, it's a smart home device. And this also acts as an internet radio broadcaster. So you can uh, use this with the built-in speakers to you know, play back some music, play back some radio tracks and control it using the app. Uh, otherwise, it also includes window door sensor kits. There's two of these, and these again are pretty standard sensors where if the door or window is opened, a notification alarm is pushed to the main base station, which is again connected to Wi-Fi or your internet, and so you'll be able to see that on your phone, and maybe someone has broken to the house or a window is broken. Uh, how these little parts communicates with this base station is using 2.4G wireless. Uh, so it's using that channel, and again the base station also features Wi-Fi. So there's two of these for a door or for a window. You can also purchase these separately uh, for slightly less, of course, uh, if you don't want to go for this bundled option. And finally, there is the third uh, device, which is a smart wireless switch. And uh, this can be used as a smart key. So you can, you can program this using the app where you can tap on it to wake up, uh, to turn on a smart light bulb, other smart products. It's basically a smart button of sorts. And you know it works pretty well, but there's nothing too fancy about it per se. So let's take a closer look at uh, each of the individual boxes here of the Aquara set. So starting with this little base, you can see that just like the Media home security camera, the box is right here everything is printed in Chinese. So this is still the Chinese version. So opening up the top, we have just a QR code that you can scan to install the Media Home app if you don't have it already. Uh, we already do since we reviewed the other products in this family in the past. And there's also an instruction manual that again is documented in only Chinese at the moment, or at least in this Chinese version. Now the next two, same thing, very basic documentation kind of explain the process in pictures, and we have just the uh, smart key, also a 3M tape, and that's it. The smart uh, kind of door or window alarm, same thing, documentation, along with the two little attachments, and down below here there is the 3M tape as well. So let's pop all of these things off to the side. Actually, it seems like the, yeah, this is the 3M tape for that. Uh, these have not been pre-installed, but it looks like there are a few tape marks already on the door and window kit. It looks like there's already a sticker installed. Uh, so you can basically peel off the sticker and then easily attach it onto a wall or onto glass if you're on if you're on a window. So all of these little home kits, you can see that it's already on, uh, are made out of this polycarbonate plastic material. So the design language is coherent with all these little accessories, and it is fairly durable and it seems well made enough. On the back there's some basic info about the unit, the model number, there's also a small reset pen. The thing about the smart button in addition to the wall or window sensors is that uh, they are both using kind of cell based batteries inside instead of being rechargeable. Of course the main unit is just simply plugged into the wall for power uh, but again these aren't using rechargeable lithium ion batteries to be operated. The smart key here has a very simple design, just tap on it once to activate a key or you know a selection. Uh, you can customize that in the app and we'll show you guys that in a second and that's basically it. You can set it up onto a desk or mount it onto a wall for a more permanent setup uh, as well. The window sensor part, how it knows if a window or door is open is using this alignment uh, of magnets and you know when it's within close enough distance it has a sensor that knows a magnet is in place and the door is closed. When it's open it detects that and then pushes that notification to the smart base. So speaking of the smart base, you can see a very prominent mono speaker on the front. There is a Xiaomi Mi logo right in the center there. Fairly elegant, modern look. 
kind of like a lotus flower uh, in its petals on the side, a smart click key which you tap on to pair for the first time, and on the very back also basic info. So very standard as far as the overall build and finish. Let's take a closer look at the app. After plugging the base into the wall, you can see this light start to flash. This actually can be programmed in terms of color to act as a mood light or a night light in the hallway. Uh, so you can see better in the dark. And it's just going to say it's ready to connect. The voice prompts are in Chinese in this particular version. Afterwards, you just open up the Mi Home app and it should detect it automatically, saying that uh, it's found and tap OK to connect. Afterwards, it's going to find my Wi-Fi router and then hopefully process and send the password information to this. So it's going to be currently connecting, it's going to flash blue, and once it reaches 100%, we should be ready. There are a couple of shortcuts you can access with the hub. You can tap on the key on the top to turn the night light function on or off, and it's going to remember the last color it was set at. You can also double tap to access the alarm function. So what that does is it pushes a notification onto your uh, phone, and if you see here, it's going to be saying that the alarm has been triggered, and you should check if everything is okay. Finally, you can double tap three times to access internet functionality, such as playing back internet radio. Now, I do have to say that the internet radio feature only works in mainland China at the moment. There doesn't seem to be any channels in the US, uh, but I can still do a quick demo of that. The Xiaomi uh, app is smart enough that it also creates a shortcut for you of the gateway or the, the hub device, so you can just quickly tap on it to launch into it. Here I can change the color of the light. So I can drag this little bar around to change the color. You can see you have access to about 16 million different color tones that uh, you can select from. T tapping on brightness, I can also make this uh, much brighter. Right now we are only about 5% uh, brightness and this is maximum brightness. And you can see that in a darkened environment, it does create a very nice ambient glow. Uh, so if you have all the lights off, it makes for a great night light. And in smaller rooms, it's bright enough to also read a little bit of content uh, without too many problems. So it's pretty colorful and nice to play around with. Using this app, we can also take a look at some other stuff. So on the bottom here, you have notifications pushed from the other sensors that came bundled with this kit. For instance, the door sensor, you can see that the door we tap on this is currently closed, but uh, a few minutes ago it was open because I had to open the door to get into this room. So it's actually pretty accurate and it pushes a notification and updates it in about once a minute. So there is a slight delay over internet. It's not instantaneous, but all in all, it works pretty well. I'll show you guys that in more depth uh, in a minute. Tapping on back, you can also take a look at the click key, the wireless switch, which again, you can use to program actions like turning on a Xiaomi light bulb or other smart home appliances, and you can set different click actions to do different things, such as a single click versus a double click versus a hold will trigger different things, and it's pretty sensitive. Two really cool features that I found was the wake and act uh, clock. So since this is connected to the internet and knows the time and date information, that means I can actually use this to set an alarm clock uh, or a self time Timer. So maybe at 8 in the morning I can set this up and once it nears that time it's going to ring using the speakers in addition to glow using the light. So it's almost like a Philips uh, you know, wake up light in that sense. It simulates the sun rising in your room which is pretty cool. And so it's a nice little app and let's hear the ringtone. And again you have these uh, different tones to select from if you don't like what you're listening to at the moment. And of course, you can even download more from your radio or just from generally on your phone. So it works pretty well. The second cool automation function is called doorbell, where you can use the smart key on the top there to act as a kind of like a pseudo doorbell where someone can tap on that and it will ring and afterwards you get a notification again on your phone. So that's a, a pretty cool feature so you know if someone is close by or in a different room and needs help, something like that. And of course, again, security options can be set up for the uh, gateway hub itself. Finally, if we tap on device, we can take a look at uh, devices I've connected and you can add more side products uh, as you purchase them. And of course, right now I've added one of the window door switches and that wireless button. So before we take a closer look at the smart window sensor and the smart button, I'm gonna show you guys the radio functionality. So the uh, menu page in this middle here is for that radio. You can see all the stations here are in Chinese, but I can tap on play and it will load 
after a few seconds. I can tap on this to look at the stations I've added to my collection, or tap on this to take a closer look at the, the kind of cover art for the radio station. And I can change the volume controls by tapping on this little key here. In addition, I can favorite the station if I wanted to. So it's a live uh, kind of internet radio playing back. I can also select the quality, you know, in terms of the resolution and the bandwidth, and I can add another channel by searching through kind of country lists. So you can see these are all the channels available in China that I can play around with. It doesn't seem to be super complete in terms of having uh, some CCTV channels, but uh, lots of local channels can be found here, from music to news to weather uh, to travel and tourism, stuff like that that works pretty well. And the takeaway here is since it is using internet as opposed to being a physical FM radio, uh, reception is quite good. There's very little interference and connected to internet. I had no times where the radio paused or skipped a track or a beat, so it seems very smooth in its playback and it gets very loud. Now the speaker on here is good, but it's not excellent. It's a little bit tinny sounding and there is a bit of distortion when you push it at higher volumes. But as far as just listening to general music and general speech, it does well enough and it certainly fills up the space pretty well for a mono speaker. Looking at the smart door slash window sensor, you add it by going into the device panel on the app and then you can select from a sub page and again these are all these smart kind of appliances and sensors that Xiaomi has made that works with the gateway hub and they include things like the cube controller which is a gesture based control pad which is pretty cool, temperature humidity sensors and for example if I wanted to add this um, there's going to be a prompt in Chinese that tells you you're ready to connect and you have to connect within 30 seconds. You can see the instructions on screen tells you to use a pen uh, or a semi ejector tool or a very thin pen to tap on the reset hole on the bottom of the base. You tap on that until the LED light turns blue and afterwards it's just connected. So it's very simple and it had no troubles as far as adding these peripherals. So it's very fast and quick. Uh, afterwards you can set up profiles for each of these devices. For, ex for example, the door that I have right now has various scenes, like if the window opens, turn off the air pur purifier or air conditioner. Uh, they're also made by Xiaomi. If the door opens, turn on a smart light, stuff like that. If a door opens, send a notification. So you can trigger these smart actions depending on what you want to use it for. You can also add another scene by tapping on plus and uh, you can add instructions in addition to set a self timer, maybe only this, uh, you know, opening the door turns on the light automatically. That only works maybe at five o'clock in the evening to 12 o'clock uh, you know, in the morning, something like that. So you can set an effective date so that it's most energy efficient and it's pretty smart and remembers that, uh, that you want what data you want to program it to. And it can also be a, put into a certain description, like you set this up for a living room or a bedroom and you can enter those descriptions very quickly into the app. So let's take a quick look right now. Of course, it is currently closed, the door. You can see it right now, it's closed. If we open up this door, you can see that it doesn't automatically push this over to my phone immediately. But if I wanted to just uh, kind of drag this down to update it, you can see now that it's open. Closing it again and a quick update, we see that now it's closed. And again, you can set it up so that it pushes notifications to your phone automatically if you're worried about security and you're using this for the home uh, main door. The same setup process goes for the smart click key. It's very tactile. Again, there's a small pin on the back that you need to tap on using a sim ejector tool that the base came with. And they tap on this for a few seconds until you see the LED also glow blue. And then it's connected within, again, 30 seconds. Afterwards, you can tap on it to trigger events. Uh, but of course, at the moment, I don't have other Xiaomi smart light bulbs or other Xiaomi smart home devices. So I can't really program it too extensively since it is made exclusively for Xiaomi. And that does bring me to the point of if you're really invested in smart home appliances by Xiaomi, then this makes a lot of sense um, because they're inexpensive and everything works really as you would expect it to. The quality is also quite good. Uh, but if you only are starting out, then you do need to purchase some extra light bulbs and smart products by Xiaomi to take full advantage of this kit. And that's something to quickly keep in mind. Uh, you know, with smart home products in general, it requires a growing list of uh, 
automated smart devices for you to get the full functionality. So anyways, guys, that was our closer look at this uh, smart home kit, smart home security kit by Xiaomi Media, and it includes the base uh, two window or door sensors and that smart click remote. And you can check out more details in our upcoming article soon. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.